Now let us start with the session. <coughs> connection polling in Hibernate framework. Connection polling in Hibernate framework. Connection polling in Hibernate framework. Right. Connection polling in Hibernate framework. Every day we are getting the connection object. Every day we are getting the connection object. That connection object is not a reusability connection object. That connection object is not a reusability connection object. Directly we are hitting the database and we are going to getting the connection object. But whenever we are hitting the directly from front-end application to back-end application, there is a, some performance issue. Like that, if the number of clients are hitting to that database, then ultimately our application performance is going to be decreased. In order to overcome that problem, now we have to go for connection polling. This is also called as Thor driver. Thor driver. Whenever we are using the connection, op connection polling concept, we can get the reusability connection object from okay application server we are not hitting to the database and we are not getting the connection object whenever we are following the connection polling concept we are going to hitting the middleware server now the middleware server is going to be given to the one connection object that connection object we call them as reusability connection object or logical connection object logical connection object that is not a physical connection object if we want to getting that logical connection object now what we have to do so now we have to install the database server in our mission this is the database server this is the database server Oracle. After that, we need to install the one middleware server. We need to install the middleware server. Assume that this is the Glassfish server. This is the Glassfish server. This is the Glassfish server. Using this server, the admin peoples, they are going to be configuring the connections and they are going to place it into the collection of connection objects in one particular place. Collection of connection objects, they are going to place it into the in one particular place. Collection of connection objects, we call them as pool collection of connection objects we call them as pool this pool creation is take care about the admin peoples after that administrators only glassfish server administrators only they are going to be configuring the data source data source data source is an interface data source they are going to configured after that they are configured j and di name j and di name java naming directory and interface under that key and ds 
these three steps was done by the admin peoples we are not responsible in real time we observed or not in our application we didn't find out varagil dot jdbc dot driver dot varagil driver okay then next after that jdbc colon varagil colon thin colon like that we didn't find out the administrators they are going to be given by the data source name username and password they are going to be given and we can take that username and password data source name we can configure in our local mission and we can start the your module this is happening in the industry now here your responsibility is to getting that reusability connection object your responsibility is to get the reusability connection object this is our application inside this application that means the client that means client this client wants to that reusability connection object reusability connection object if we want to getting that reusability connection object now what we have to do what we have to do if we want to getting this reusability connection object then what we have to do we need to do the, the following three steps in our application in configuration file in configuration file instead of configuring that four properties driver class name url user name and password instead of configuring that four properties we can configuring the following three properties in our cfg file where we can modify cfg file hibernate configuration file what are that modifications sum number 1 property name is equal to property name is equal to hibernate dot connection dot connection dot data source connection dot data source under that we can pass here durga jndi durga jndi close the property this jndi name we can configured inside the glassfish server second property property name is equal to property name is equal to hibernate dot jndi dot class now here we can pass com dot sun dot enterprise dot naming dot serial init context factory serial init context factory close the property the next third property property name is equal to property name is equal to hibernate dot jndi dot url url the next the next iiop colon double slash local host colon port number 4848 this is the glassfish server port number close the property the next if it is 
web logic server this jnd properties are going to be changed if it is web logic server what we have to pass web logic dot jnda dot web logic initial context factory url t3 colon double slash localhost colon 7001 is the default port number of web logic server this is the web logic server properties web logic server properties the next apart from that hibernet jars apart from that hibernet jars now we have to set the another four jar files whenever we are using the whenever we are using the glassfish server what are that four jar file number 1 app server iphan admin dot jar number 2 app server iphan rt dot jar number 3 java ee dot jar number 4 imq jmsre dot jar we have to set these jar files whereas if it is web logic server we need to set only one jar file that is web logic dot jar we need to set the jar files and we can compile and we can execute now passing the keys that is the here passing the jnd properties then we are going to getting ds of internally this ds is going to communicating to data source and it is communicating to pool pick up in the connection object and it is given to that connection object in our application and we can use or we can utilize that reusability connection object reusability connection object right now we'll see the this example how to how to configuring this jndi and everything in real time must and should we have to follow like this only we can we can open the any application maximum they are going to following like this only right now i am going to start practically this example just observing